Okay, boys and girls, just to give you an update of where we are at with the Rustang, which I'm also naming Frankenstein because of how many different pieces were used from different cars to put this thing together. Here's all the junk just in the rocker panel area that I had to cut off as we come around here. Other than that small piece of wheelhouse right there, all of this is from the rocker panel. All of this. This is what was pretty much holding this car together. We do have a really nice trunk drop. Surprise there. Uh, well, as you can see though, I do have the wheelhouse mocked in place. I'm getting ready to put the inner rocker on it. Well, actually at least just mock it in place so I can see what else I have to do. If you followed my previous videos, you've probably seen this. Uh, might get a better view here. I cleaned it up a bit. You can kind of see how bad this is. I have to rebuild this entire area here. I have to rebuild a section of the floor. I have to make a different lip for here. As you can see, this was never welded down here. This was never welded to the rocker panel. And as I had mentioned, that's 14 inches of metal not welded right underneath your butt. Not good. And we keep moving forward here. We actually have if you watched any previous videos, if not, we have a floor pan from a different Mustang installed in this car. And then at some point in the past, we have another floor pan. There's a seam in there. A replacement patch. And you can tell because this metal is almost like new. And as we come forward, you can see the A-pillar. If you look real close, right about here and it follows all the way through goes across here and around here this lower section was replaced most likely when it was in an accident which is why it got a rocker panel from a different car and so on i did have to cut the front of the a pillar off here as we swing swing around you can see i still have some more work to do there's still some rust up in here i have to pretty much make this whole piece down here and down in here, this is the one area where Ford did a really good job of welding it. There were a lot of spot welds through here. And even though I drilled them out, as you can see, there were some of them that just wouldn't go. So I'll also end up refabricating this whole piece here. There's another example of absolutely perfect workmanship. As you can see here, we'll come around to the inside. What do we see right here? Oh, it's a gap. So let's just fill this gap in a corner with seam sealer. It ain't gonna matter. I see this way too often. This car is the proverbial can of worms. Every time I remove a piece, we end up finding more and more and more. So what I'll do is I'll get this inner rocker mocked up just sitting in place so I can see what metal I have to fabricate in here just so that I can attach this new panel. And then after that, we'll go ahead, we come on over here, and we'll attach our brand new rocker panel. And then after the rocker panel's installed and the wheelhouse is installed, we can attach the quarter panel. So as you can see, we got a lot of work to do. And this car just keeps, it just keeps on coming. Anyways, if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe. Hopefully there'll be a lot more videos on this car, but as I had mentioned before, this was done poorly. Whoever did this last, this was a bull in a china shop. To do this kind of work and leave it out of sight, out of mind, right? Out of sight, out of mind. That's the common, common practice. As long as the customer doesn't see it, it's not there. Well, it was there, guys. And for those of you who are just tuning in, this car, that really, if you looked at it, wasn't bad at all, first came in here to have that area of the door repaired. 
That little chip that he touched up several times and other people had touched up, he just wasn't happy with it and he wanted to get that fixed. I had recommended painting just that cove area. As you can see, this is where we are now. And the reason we're here now is because the customer asked me if I could find out why he kept getting cracks in his paint. Oh, hey, here's another thing I uncovered. As I was beating and banging down there, I noticed something going on up here and just the vibrations. We opened up a nice big hole right here. So there's more repair work. Again, that can of worms. But back to what I was saying, the customer didn't know why he kept getting cracks in his paint and the door wouldn't close right. And we can kind of find out, we can see why. Nothing was welded properly. This rocker panel, most of this rocker panel, I was able to take off with a hammer and a chisel. Barely any welds, a little bit of brazing, and most of it was just rust. So, anyways, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more on the Frankenstein Rustang.